Hi guys, welcome to Michelle's Cozy Kitchen. In today's video, I am going to show you how to make Caribbean plain flour dumplings. Guys, this recipe is so easy and simple. It only takes four ingredients, flour, water, butter, and salt. Guys, you gotta try this one. Here are the ingredients needed for this recipe. Three cups of flour, a half stick of butter, water and salt to make the dough i am going to use three cups of flour half stick of butter and about one cup of water because i'm going to boil the dumplings i found it better for me to add the salt to the water instead of adding it to the dough this has worked out great because i've never over salted my dumplings so this is something that I would advise you to try also. For mixing bowl, you're going to add the flour and the butter and using your fingers, you're going to blend the butter into the flour until it resembles breadcrumbs. Guys, did you know that dumplings are a popular and easy go-to dish for us in the Caribbean? I can remember growing up, this was one of my grandmother's favorite dishes to cook. My cousins and I ate dumplings at least three times per week, and that's how I learned to make them. She even added them to chicken soup. So guys, these are perfect for soups. I will do a video on how to make Caribbean chicken soup. To the mixture, I am going to add water a little at a time and mix the ingredients together until it forms a dough. Sometimes my grandmother would add coconut or cornmeal to the mix. Guys, I like them all, but my favorite ones were the coconut dumplings. These I enjoy. I will definitely do a video showing you how to make coconut dumplings. Because you're using your hands to make the dough, ensure that they're clean and free of any jewelry. Your dough should look like this. If it is too sticky, you have to add more flour. If it is too dry, just add a bit more water. Then you're going to take the dough and break it into pieces about the size of a tennis ball. Then you'll take each piece and roll it between the palm of your hands, shaping it into a ball. You're going to take your fingers and flatten it a bit set each piece aside until the dough is completed because this dish is so popular do you know that some islands have it as part of their national dish like saint martin and my island nevis our national dish is coconut dumplings stewed saltfish spicy plantains and breadfruit it is a tradition for us to eat dumplings along with stewed saltfish and ground provisions every good friday i will also do my version of caribbean stewed saltfish so look out for that video now that i have finished shaping out the dough they are ready to be boiled so i'm going to place a pot with about four cups of water over medium heat and allow it to boil then i am going to add each piece of dough to the water along with some salt enough salt to taste because i'm adding the dough to hot water i try to add them in gently so that it prevents the water from splashing we eat dumplings for just about any meal of the day in the Caribbean. These bites of deliciousness can be eaten with just about anything. As I said earlier, we eat them with stewed saltfish and ground provisions. They can be eaten also with chicken and one of my favorite, steamed fish. After adding the pieces of dough to the pot, I am going to take a mixing spoon and stir them so as to prevent them from sticking to the bottom of the pot then i am going to slightly cover the pot 
and let them boil for about 15 minutes. Once completed, remove from pot and serve as desired. Here I have a sample of dumplings, stewed sawfish, slices of sweet potato, along with pumpkin, carrots, and other vegetables. Guys, this dish is the bomb. So, you've got to try these plain flour dumplings. Remember, from my cozy kitchen to yours, enjoy. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel for new video uploads. Be sure to check out my other videos.